Madam President, distinguished guests, friends, colleagues, and most of impor important of all, graduands, welcome. My name is Richard Black. I'm pro-director for SOAS for Research and Enterprise, and it's a great pleasure to welcome you to this, our fourth graduation ceremony of 2015. If you're a graduating student, welcome back, and congratulations. You did it. Well done. That's good, we want lots of clapping this afternoon. <laughs> if you're the mother, father, brother, sister, friend, or acquaintance of a graduating student, it's wonderful to see you here for the celebration of their achievement. They almost certainly couldn't have done it without you. So a big round of applause for the friends and family too. <laughs> Now, you'll not be surprised that as an academic, I have attended dozens of degree ceremonies. But I can tell you, not only have I enjoyed most of them, but that SOAS degree ceremonies are definitely the best I've ever been to. Every degree ceremony is unique, charged with emotion, and full of pride. And I can see the pride glowing around the hall at this moment. But graduates, this is your special day, so please relax and enjoy it. Now, even if we had found a larger hall than the Logan Hall, sadly it is simply not possible to fit all of your friends and family in one place at one time. So I'm delighted to tell you that we are sharing this, your special day, with your family members, friends, and indeed the general public all around the world through the wonders of live streaming on the internet. So please, smile, laugh, and wave to, <laughs> to the camera. And while I hope you put your mobile phones onto silent, please feel free to tweet, Facebook, or Instagram, or whatever it is you do, so that everybody else can join in. Now, it is an absolute pleasure for me to be able to introduce to you the president of SOAS, Dame Grasa Michelle. As all of you will know, Dame Grasser is an extremely distinguished figure on the world stage. She has been at the heart of national and international po politics for decades. Forty years ago, she became the first Minister of Education and Culture in a newly independent Mozambique, an anniversary we had the pleasure of celebrating here with music and dance just two weeks ago. During over a decade in office, she oversaw a doubling of school enrollment in uh, Mozambique and a reduction in illiteracy by over 70%. Since leaving office, she's been a tireless advocate for the rights of education, sorry, the rights of women and children for education uh, and against poverty, illiteracy and injustice. She has gained international respect and many international awards for her humanitarian work and she was made a British Dame in 1997. Dame Grasser is also a highly appropriate president for SOAS. She went to university at the University of Lisbon thanks to a scholarship, and there she studied languages. She speaks seven languages, no less, African and European. And she also became involved in radical student politics. She is now an influential and respected voice, not only in Africa, but across the wider world. Dame Grasser, we are extremely honored to have you as our president and to have you with us at the high point of our academic year as we celebrate the achievements of our students. So on behalf of everyone in the SOAS community, I want to welcome you back to SOAS and ask you to address this graduation ceremony. Thank you. Thank you. 